Have you noticed since we got married you've become more annoying? I've noticed that you're being more annoyed by me. <laughs> now you know you can't get out of the commitment. Hello everyone and welcome to the internet. So Rosie and I have been um, away for a few days or weeks. I'm not really sure how long it's been. We're back now. This is the first video we're filming in our new house. I'm really quite excited about it. Yeah, it's a nice, nice being in here. Did I ask? What, you? No. No, I didn't, did I? No, but I thought I'd share. Can I just say one thing? We've only been here three days and Rosie's already got her moisturiser over the satin pillows. <laughs> so tell them the story. It may get me out of my pissy pants. So I was in the middle lane overtaking someone in the left hand lane and I just came out, overtook, I was overtaking and as I was in the middle lane, some loser came right down the fast lane, pulled in front of me and all I could see is, is this guy looking at me in his wing mirror going <laughs> I was there and I was doing everything right because I'm a very good driver apart from when I crash in a multi-story car park and I was going down and I thought okay this guy clearly wants to say something or do something to me when I've overtaken now I didn't chase him, I reacted in no way but it didn't 10 minutes down the line I genuinely had to overtake him so he was in the middle lane and I was like okay well I'll go out into the fast lane and overtake him now he was waiting for me to pass him right and I could feel him in my yeah, periphery running. Right, in my peripheral vision he was like this waiting for me to come around. So I thought, okay, what will annoy him most is me to eat, act like I have no idea that he even exists. Like you didn't see him shake the fist. Like I didn't see the fist and, and I'm not waiting again, for you're not looking. Right, so there's nothing more annoying than um, a non-reaction. So what I did is I turned up my Megan trainer and I genuinely danced like this when he was trying to get my attention. <laughs> <laughs> so there I go, I go past him, I see this. Valuable lesson uh, here, right? You know the phrase dance like no one's watching? Right. I think it should be changing. Dance like angry fist man's watching. So I don't know if any of you have experienced this, girls or boys, but Rosie and I came to some traffic lights the other day and there were two lanes. Now we pulled up and obviously the light was red, so we had to stop. Waiting these, patiently. These two boys and a shit Citroen Saxo pulled up and they kept, they were looking like this at us, right? So they wanted us to look, right? They were so, on your side, the so driver's side. There's nothing more I take delight in than not giving someone the satisfaction of my attention. So <laughs> I just ignored like this and I said to Rosie, right Rosie, two blokes up here, they really want you to look at them so they can be like, ooh, yeah, or something that they think's gonna happen. Yeah, so I got out my phone and and just literally completely ignored what they were doing, even though they were revving and pulling closer. They kept pulling up closer, like look, 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 look at this. I thought, right, not only am I not going to look at them, but I'm going to look in their direction, but not in their eyes. And not say so, them. So say you're them, camera, and you're like this. Ooh, I literally did this. It's so annoying when you almost see them. When they almost, they, I, I they literally almost got your attention, close. But didn't get it. So I turned back to the road, and then they beat for my attention. So I just did this. Yeah, and I was on my phone. And then we had to drive off, so they thought, right, oh, I didn't get their attention, but I'm gonna rev. <laughs> Boys, let me ask you this. What do you think's going to happen? Yeah, it's true. This is gonna be the slowest build up to a kiss ever, right? Okay. Laura and I were walking down the street and there was like a chock -a block traffic and there was this one guy in a crap muscle car and he turned his music What's up a so loud. I don't know. He turned his music up so loudly I couldn't even hear Laura. Oh, yeah. Now he knew that we wouldn't be able to hear each other and that we'd have to look at him to be like, what are you doing? <gasps> so what we did is Laura, Laura said to me, don't look at him. Pretend like you're talking to each other and you can still hear each other. I said, what do you mean? And she went, just follow my lead. So Laura just did not look at this guy and he was there like, yeah, yeah. And Laura just went to me, she went to her. And I was, I was like. So we were literally lip syncing nothing to each other. And this guy was, could not understand what was going on. He was like. So we turned up a little bit more and Laura started laughing. 
laughing a little bit, but I did not break. You just like, yeah, you got enough. <laughs> We will be on the internet more. We're going to be on you now, as always, on Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. GMT time, so don't forget to catch us there. If we weren't married, right, and I pulled up to a junction, okay, and I tried to get your attention, what would be the best way? Thing is, if, if we were married and I was single, yeah. and you did that, I'd probably like flashing my tits or something. Let's be honest. Slowest kiss in the world, take two. Carmex on there, moist those bad boys. Taste mine, feel them, they're luscious. So, mm. I'm just gonna rub my I lips on you. I'm a nervous lip licker, everyone knows this. Stop it! 